Crash is a film that is stained by its premise, as some, upon its release, avoided it due to them assuming the film was nothing but a controversy-baiting throwaway flick. Those who did a minuscule amount of research prior to casting Judgment or watching the film know that the book it's adapting was written by acclaimed author J.G. Ballard, whose use of sex and violence is purposeful and far from pretentious or just hollow attempts at provocation. Crash's premise sees a man named James discover a group of car crash victims who use car accidents as a means to reinvigorate their libidos and sex lives. Cronenberg's ability to find material material that suits his directorial style and thematic trappings is just outstanding. Crash is a dissection of humanity's increasing over-reliance on technology, and how individuals turn to it as a way to satisfy base needs. This ranges from regular interactions to, of course, acts of intimacy. The film, and in turn the book, seems almost prophetic, as with the advent of the internet, many have turned to this brilliant invention as a way to supplement regular interaction. Some have even become a part of an unhealthy parasocial relationship. One of the many in-film examples of people's over-reliance on technology is Helen, a woman who needs to be in a car to actually experience pleasure. Her and others rely on motor vehicles and their ability to alter the human form to achieve any type of satisfaction. Crash also explores how the mind manifests our suppressed desires and insecurities, resulting in indulgences in bizarre activities and behaviors. It shows how certain sexual fetishes are reflections of either life events or certain inner emotions gone unexpressed. Some would argue that that's all what fetishes are, merely packaged suppression. Take James. He's someone who has complete control of all aspects of his life, with the exception of his ability to have a genuine and passionate experience with his wife. So when presented with a car crash, he feels this sense of complete unease which arouses him. The feeling of complete helplessness and subordination is something he becomes enamored with. However, this brush with carnage couldn't alone fix his intimacy problem with his wife. She herself must have her own crash so they could fully reignite their passion. She must feel what he has. His wife has a fetish for both vehicles that themselves and cuckoldry. Perhaps this is due to James's and her sterile love life. James wishes he could be Vaughn, and Catherine wishes James was like Vaughn, a being that radiates sexuality and is in full control of his own. A man that's able to satisfy, he is the one who takes them deeper into this odd subculture, which in turns awakens something in them. Vaughn deep down seems to fear mortality, and thus craves immortality and wishes to become immortal through death, much like how James Dean achieved mythic status through his untimely passing. What's striking about the film is its ability to throw us into this world of absurdity while grounding everything with sincerity. The sexual acts do in fact feel genuine, no matter how bizarre they are. The camera gazes over the wrecks as if it's the eye of a man looking over the body of Monica Bellucci. Each wreck, wound, and piece of carnage are all shot this way to convey how the characters view them as objects that just emit sexual energy. This scene perfectly communicates that, as two grown men seem to fawn over photos of car wrecks like school children who found a pinup magazine. While the film is about the crutch that modern technology has become, it's not condemning any use of it. It is merely showcasing a case of overuse gone amok, and saying that these aids shouldn't be abused so much that your perception or experience of these base acts of intimacy or human interaction become not enough or twisted. That over-reliance will turn us into beings that are disconnected and disaffected from the base human experience and psychology, individuals that are perpetually chasing the dragon. The ending doesn't see the couple realize their addiction, but a reaffirmation that they are hurling towards another crash so that Catherine's body can be altered. Her final words seem to convey the severity of her mental state. She isn't disturbed by the fact that she almost died, but lamenting that she wasn't crippled. A truly messed up notion. Overindulgences and vices often become one's undoing. It's part of this destructive domino effect that'll make us numb to reality and have us chasing our own crash. The characters of the film can never truly be satisfied with standard lovemaking, as that to them feels like they are just going through the motions. They have forever numbed themselves to the base act of lovemaking and undoubtedly will engage in increasingly dangerous behavior just to reach what they once had. Do you agree with my explanation of Crash? Comment down below if you do or don't.